Okay, so we have game five up on the board, and after an initial glance through the potion cards, Scrying Pool, Apothecary, Alchemist. The board is actually extraordinarily simple. You have to go for the Hermit Market Square thing. The only thing I feel could that may be able to compete with that is if you get a bunch of coin tokens with Merchant Guild. Unfortunately, we don't have any plus actions to play more than one Merchant Guild. So that is going to be an issue. Means that the Hermit Market Square thing seems to be the way to go. So. I am not entirely sure how to play this thing. I also didn't want to try to sit and figure this out while I was playing it. So I just decided to, you know, pick up a couple hermits to start with and then go from there. As it turns out, I make probably a couple mistakes and a very, very key one I'll show you later on in the game. So we both go for this hermit thing. I know this is going to play out, right? The Hermits are going to run out. Market Squares are going to run out. Then there'll be two piles empty. You have to watch the estates, right? Especially seeing as our Hermits, Hermit can gain estates. So I gained a Market Square my last turn. Whereas my opponent uh, gained a Hermit and also bought a Hermit. So he has quite a bit of Hermits. And he's again buying a Hermit. Now that is perhaps the correct thing to do here. I go for a pawn because, well, I could go for a pawn now, consider against it, but eventually do pick it up because eventually you will want something to trash in your deck to trigger the market squares. I mean, that could be an estate, really, but whatever. The pawn is nice to have an additional plus buy or something to trash in case you want to trigger the market squares. So as it turns out, my opponent ended up with quite a few hermits and only after the hermits were gone then he started to pick up market squares so a little bit interesting i do pick up i do have a madman in the deck my opponent also has a madman and i pick up a couple market squares here here's my madman but i'm not going to play it right now just going to try to hold off on the madmans until i want to have the big explosive Madman draw and then Hermit trash, react all the market squares, redraw the goals kind of thing. That isn't going to happen because, excuse me, we both don't have enough resources to do that. I took some of the Hermits and the market squares, so my opponent and myself can't do the full thing, but it'll be very interesting to see what we can pull off. Now we're very close to the end of the game here. My opponent does gain the last market square here. And buys an expedition and for some reason for some reason at this point in the game I thought that I had the two madmen I thought I had the two madmen which means that I felt like okay my opponent has one madman he can't do anything right he can't do any hermit market square shenanigans so I can wait I can wait a turn here I do pick up another pawn here perhaps I should have been another madman to put my total to three in my head, but actually two. So again, I didn't pull the trigger, or I didn't do anything. I felt fairly safe here because I thought that I had the two madmen and my opponent only had one. So at this point in the game, I felt like, okay, what are you going to do now? You just triggered your madman. You can't draw any goals that you react with the market square. But joke's on you. Well, I say you, I mean me. He does have the second madman and he's able to react to just enough gold and whatnot to be able to pile out the estates for a win. So actually very very quick one here, Hermit Market Square shenanigans. Uh, as it turns out, you need to go after the Hermits a lot more hotly than you need to go after the Market Squares. My mistake, I didn't know. I never learned how to play this thing, but I guess I have a lesson here for myself and I guess for you if you don't know. Anyways, game five. Thanks for watching. See you.